Hi, in this video we're going to do some file reading. So this will introduce you to the concept of opening a file, reading it word by word and line by line, and then printing the results to the screen. So let's get started with a new project. So I'm in Eclipse and I'm choosing a new Java project. So I'm going to call mine activity 4-1-read. So the name of my class that I'm going to create is demo reading files. And I'm going to make sure that it has the main uh, function in it. So the first line that I'm going to create is going to create a file object. And I'm going to name mine as file text because we're using words in our text file. And uh, you can see that it's using the in.txt file name. So next let's do our importing. So let's choose the Java IO library as our import. And the next statement says file is, uh, let's see, oh, it needs to be capitalized. All right, so now I'm ready to read this file. It doesn't exist yet, so in.txt needs to be created. So I'm going over to my folder here, the project folder, and I'm choosing a new file. And uh, I'm just going to name it in.txt. So the txt file extension. So I'm going to put in two words per line, and uh, a word, of course, is separated by a space, and save the results. Now the goal here is to read these files and put the results on the screen. To read a file, we need an object called a scanner. So once I have the scanner object, I'm going to import this from Java Util. The uh, error that you see here is not because of anything I wrote here, it's because of what I did not write. So you think that there is a possibility that the file in txt does not exist. And so there is a file not found exception that needs to be thrown. So I could do a surround it with try and catch, or I'm going to choose the first option in this case to, to say add throws declaration. And you see that at the top of the method here, it adds this to uh, include every statement inside the method. So if this in txt does not exist, you will see an error message print at the bottom in the console. So now my next goal is just to print these to the screen. So I'm going to choose system out print line and use S. Remember S stands for scanner. And then the methods are uh, listed here. I can say next and it shows me the next thing that is going to be read. So next line, next string, next integer. In this case I'm just going to choose next which means string. So it'll read one word. And let's uh, copy and paste this a few times. So let's see what this does for results. I'm going to run this now. And you can see it's printing each number, one, two, three, four, five. So next is showing us next word. I'm going to go back and change the word next and show you what the other options look like. So next line, let's see. Do we have next line? I do have next line. So let's save that and print. So now you can see in the results that one and two were both read in as one string. So next line will read all the way to the end of the line in the file. So you notice in my file I had one, two on the same line. So if I put a bunch of other words on the line, we would also get all of those in the same first read. And there you can see the first line has been read. Now there's other things such as integers and we'll do those next. Now when I'm finished reading the file, I'm going to type in s.close. And so that will close the file and it no longer expects to read from it. I'm going to create a new file. So this time I'm going to read a file called numbers.txt. So, so we better create that. So I go into my project folder and choose numbers.txt as my file name. So in here, I can type in some numbers. So let's say I put in a 1 space 2 space 45, make a couple of numbers here, and see what happens when we try to read these. So I'm going to save all those, and now I'm going to go back into here in my uh, main program and read it. The first thing I want to do is reassign the scanner. So I closed the scanner for the text file. I'm going to now open the scanner on a new file called file numbers. So let's check to see if this will be able to read an integer now. So I'm going to run the program again. And as you can see, the last line of my output shows the number 1. So let's uh, test this with a few more. So I'll copy and paste this line and run it again. 
So it appears that it is reading integers one by one. So I'm going to delete the current read lines, and this time I'm going to assign the uh, s dot next int to an actual number. So I have three variables called num1, 2, and 3. So just to prove that these are actually integers, I'm going to add them together, and then print them, and then finally print their sum. So let's see what this looks like when I run it. And it sure enough shows that their sum is 48. So it reads the first three numbers and adds them all together. And so there's an example of how you would be able to read information from a text file. And so there's an example of how you would be able to read information from a text file. Lastly, I forgot I need to close my statement and then I'm ready to be done.